Welcome to OU. <laughs> we doing it, Palmer Place. 2022. Here, X9 Thirteen. Six up. Step back to talk to you guys because I haven't talked to you guys. Welcome to Palmer Place 2022. If you remember, I did this in 2017, 2018, 2019. 27, 28, 29. I did in 2016 too. I've done this. This is the fifth year of doing Palmer Place for me personally. Loudest sound system ever. I've actually done the sound system pretty much every time. The first time I just did the subs, I didn't do the tops, but second, third, fourth, I've done the sound all the way. And a uh, big shout out to um, the organization that happens called Brick Life. They were able to pull together like I think six or eight sponsors locally to afford to basically bring me up here to do the sound system. They've done it every year. We got like Rockstar, Red Bull, we got a variety of local places that are sponsoring this. And um, it's loud. So I'm pretty much here just chilling. I'm not DJing today at all. Um, brought the sound system, which is absolutely insane. We have four JBL V-Rex 932 LAPs, two per side on crank stands. We have two SRX 815Ps, mine on uh, Centerville. And then our subs are a little non-traditional, and the main reason for that is because this is a college festival. If you've seen in the past, stuff gets a little crazy. And um, the guy that I rent my 932s off of, the JBL 932s, which you'll see in an upcoming prom as well, he's got eight of the same JBL V-Rex 918 SPs, the same ones that I got, I got two of them, he's got eight. And I, I don't want to subject his subs to this environment. There's a lot of, there's probably gonna be a lot of alcohol thrown. Uh, it gets a little crazy here. So his 932s being up in the air, no problem. They're 12 feet up in the air. They won't be an issue. If I had his subs up there, people might try and start standing on them, get some shit put on them. I'm not trying to do that. So right now we're using two V-Rex 918 SPs, mine personally, two of my Mackie subs, the SR18s uh, and two of the JBL PRX 715XLFs. By far, not a traditional setup. We're mixing subs. Yes, oh my God, we're mixing subs. It sounds louder, it works, it's awesome. Is it enough bass for what we're doing on the top side? Sorta. It sounds awesome. Those 932s really throw to the back of the room, which is what we want. The bass travels, 932s are awesome. I'll show you guys some more up here. I got my audio rack as normal. And um, it's f***ing loud. I can't express that. Front row is like 120, 125 decibels. Back row is like 100. Audio rack, audio technical mics, DBX drive rack, Yamaha MD12. They're DJing on a variety of boards, subs. If we could get some cooperation here on you guys' way out, just kind of make your way to the nearest exit so that way Cornwall can clean all this mess up we made. Appreciate you guys all coming out. That was sick. I didn't really film much, as you guys could tell, um, but it was super fun. It was fun getting to go up to Athens. It was the first festival they've had back since 2019, obviously because of COVID. Um, and yeah, the whole entire thing was awesome. Loudest sound system, as I said, we've ever brought out for Palmer Place Fest. If you need more backstory on Palmer Place Fest, go check out the previous videos. Just search DJ Rick Webb, Palmer Place Fest, and you'll see the previous three years we've done of Palmer Place Fest. It's an insane, awesome thing. All the DJs locally come together, all the high, or all the college DJs, and they put on that awesome little concert in that pre-dope U-shape 
of an apartment complex. The apartment complex over the last few years has been really nice with like actually working with the organization, probably the fact that we have an organization now at OU that does that. And as an alumni, I'm just honestly proud and honored to come back every year um, to be able to put that together for those guys. Obviously being in college, I realized back then when we did it, it was super hard to get any production companies to even want to work with us because well, what what, per, what production company wants to work with some college kids to put on a college festival? Not many. Me owning a company now, having all the resources to do it, I understand the logistics of what it's going to take to actually put that on, to do it right, etc. So I'm more than honored as alumni to come back and do it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, that was a fun little trip up to OU. I actually took two other people with me. Um, Hannah and Drake came along and we did the whole entire thing so that way we actually had a crew. It was sick. We had a great time. But anyways, stay tuned. More to come, especially with the events that we've been rocking lately. It's been a crazy uh, start to the busy season between May, April, and June. And um, more to come in the fall. Anyways, guys, peace out. Keep the record spinning and I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.